Can we just give myself a slow clap for not getting any makeup on my shirt when I put it on? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brittany. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. So today we're filming my weekly haul. If you're not familiar with my channel, I do a haul on my channel every single week. So if you're not subscribed and you love hauls, definitely subscribe. And so if you guys want to see what I got, let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with Sephora. So the first thing I got, I'm so freaking excited about. This is a Jouer Molten Glowed Highlighter. It's for face and body. And oh my gosh, guys, it's just like so beautiful on Trend Mood's page that I had to order it. And some of this stuff I did order, but some of it I got in store, so I just like have it in the Sephora bag. But let's go ahead and open this. I haven't even looked at it yet, so hopefully it came okay and it's not broke. But it does come with a little brush. Oh, it's so cute and I love the packaging anything with glitter like this I love oh my gosh so there's a little like dust pouch or something in here that's cute and so this is what the packaging looks like let's just take a moment to take this in it's so freaking beautiful it kind of reminds me of my Anastasia glow oil like that's just how pretty it is so let's make sure she's not broken She's not broken, yay. I've actually never tried any of the Jouer highlighters. I know the one called Skinny Dip, I think, is really, really popular, and I've always wanted to try that, but I never felt like ordering it for some reason. And so it does come with a mirror, and this is what the color looks like. So let's go ahead and swatch it. Oh my gosh, guys, do you see that? That's straight on foil. There's like no glitter whatsoever in here. Ooh, okay. So it kind of has that thin formula, like the Natasha Denona highlighter, but she is blinding, especially if you build her up. Oh my god. <gasps> I'm so glad I bought this. I was telling myself, you do not need it. You do not need another highlight, and I am not regretting it one bit. So here's a close-up of the color. It's so reflective and just wet looking. It's so pretty. I probably just said this highlighter was pretty a zillion times. So I'm so sorry for my excitement. So it comes with this little doohickey right here. Let's see what she is. Oh yeah, it is a little pouch. Oh, that's so cute. So it's just a blush colored little pouch and you just slide your highlight in there and it fits perfectly in there. And then since it is a face and body highlighter, that's why it came with this brush, I believe, just so you could like buff it on your body. But don't take my word for it, I don't know. Ooh, it feels really soft. I would even use this for my Anastasia Shimmer Body Oil just to like buff it out because recently I've just been using like my highlighting brush, but then when I go to use my highlighter, it kind of has a little bit of glitter just because I used it with the shimmer oil. So I might just use this for that, but this is what it looks like. It's just gold and it says Jouer on there. I'm so happy that I picked this up. So the next thing I got from Sephora was this Huda Beauty lipstick. This is their Power Bullet Matte Lipstick. I'm actually wearing one of her lipsticks today in the shade Anniversary, and I just love this. I love the formula. It kind of has the same formula as the matte lipsticks from MAC. So I ended up picking up the color Staycation, which is actually a lighter nude, just because on 4th of July, I did this super dramatic eye look, and then I paired it with a red lipstick at first, and it was just too much. Christian even said, he's like, hey, like your eyes are pretty loud already. He said I would do like a blanked nude lip and then I looked for one in my collection and all my nudes are basically like this is the lightest one and so I wanted another one for my collection to where it was like really light because I do tend to wear really dramatic eyes so I need just one of those light nudes. I think it's because whenever I go in store and I try on a really pale nude I usually don't have much on my eyes and I just think it looks crazy. Oh my god I cannot open this. Okay there we go. But obviously when you do wear a really pale nude like that you're not gonna have your eyes like with nothing on them they're gonna be super dramatic and so I thought I would pick this one up because I did love the formula and now I have two of them they're so cute and so this is what staycation looks like and then I'll show you the actual color as you can see it's very very light but it's still cool tone and then I will go ahead and swatch it for you guys it actually doesn't look that light on my hand but whenever I tried it on in Sephora it looked pretty pale but there is the swatch I cannot wait to wear it and the next thing I got from Sephora was from Natasha Denona this is their chroma crystals liquid eyeshadow and when I saw this I'm not gonna lie I started laughing just because it's almost the same size as the Huda Beauty lipstick it's like super small but it has 
has 0.27 fluid ounces. Let's check a Stila one and see how much that has. Oh my gosh, guys. So it actually has more than the Stila one, which is crazy. And they're the same price. So I'm really interested to see if this is like kind of the same thing as the Stila or if it's like a different formula. But let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Ooh, this is really cute. I love it. It looks really luxurious and it does have some weight to it. This is what it looks like right here. Let's go ahead and open it. Ah. Oh my god. I was going to buy all of them, but I was like, let me just buy one and see if I like the formula. But this is what the applicator looks like. And then I will go ahead and swatch it. I have quite a bit of product, so I'm going to take it off. It does look very thick. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's like a brown, but it has some duochromeness to it to where it has flecks of green and gold. It's so pretty. And it doesn't go on the hand very chunky. But that is what the color looks like right there. Oh my gosh. Hopefully you could see the like multi-dimension that it has going on. But yeah, you could even blend it out and do, oh my god, it already dried. Wow, they dry fast. But I was going to say you could just blend it out and just use that all over the lid as like a really quick, easy look. But dang, they dry fast. Wow, okay. The last thing I got from Sephora was just kind of one of those like little codes that you put in. And so this is the High CBD Formula Body Lotion from Lord Jones. And I don't know, it just seemed interesting to me. So I picked it up. Let's smell it. I'm interested if it would smell like weed. Is that dumb of me to say? It doesn't. It doesn't smell like weed at all. <laughs> Oh my god, wait a minute guys. It does. It kind of smells like weed after you like blend it out. Oh my god. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's cool, but it is. It does smell very moisturizing. Just so you guys know, I've never smoked weed. I've just smelt it before, so... <laughs> Uh, I feel awkward now. I'm shutting up. Alrighty, guys. So moving on to Ulta. So the first thing I picked up from Ulta was this Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. So this has SPF 50 and it's supposed to be a full coverage just foundation kind of cream. It reminds me a lot of the CC cream from It Cosmetics. And so I looked that up on YouTube and a lot of people have already like done comparison videos. So if it's anything like that, I'm excited just because I do like their CC cream. I prefer their Bye Bye foundation if I had to pick one. But yeah, I'm super excited to try this just because I'm very lazy when it comes to SPF. And since this has SPF 50, I feel like I would grab it more for like an everyday foundation. And I don't see a lot of drugstore foundations with that high of a SPF. PF. And so this is what it looks like. I got the color 120 and it does come with like a little squeeze tube applicator. Guys, I feel like my hand's kind of burning where I put that lotion. And I just wanted to let you guys know after I film this video, I will be doing a full face trying new makeup using all this stuff, which I cannot wait to try all this. Alrighty guys, and the next product I picked up was also from Maybelline. This is their Superstay Full Coverage Concealer and I was so excited when I saw this just because I love the Superstay foundation. I have it right here. Um, so I really want to test this out and I already did a review and wear test on this so if you haven't seen it already I will have it right here in the cards and also in the description if you want to watch it after this video but yeah I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like it's in a squeeze tube but it does have a little doe foot applicator and so yeah that's all I'm gonna say about this just because I do have a video on it last but not least the last thing I got from Ulta was a restock on my favorite lashes of all time and these are from Lily Lashes and they're in the style Miami I'm so glad that we got these back in stock I've been wanting them for forever just because I don't have any more like dramatic lashes and this is the lash that I go for when I want something dramatic but I wanted to make sure I bought it at Ulta instead of like Sephora just because I want to get my discount and so I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these but if you haven't I'll go ahead and open them and show you this is what they look like right here they are just so beautiful and they do last me a while and before I end the video I wanted to show you two new products that I got from the brand Alter Ego they actually sent me these two products and I was so excited. Um, so I got their Goddess palette, which is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Gold palette, which I wanted that palette when it first came out, but it was just too pricey. And so they sent me this and I did a full review on it already. I think I tried it in a trying new makeup video. So if you haven't seen that, I will have it in the cards and down below. But this is what it looks like right here. It's so beautiful. I ended up really, really loving it in that video. And so literally the day that I filmed with this palette, they sent me another email saying that they were going to send me their newest palette which is the dream palette and I got so excited just because I love the goddess one so much and this one is supposed to be a dupe for the Huda Beauty new nude palette and oh my gosh when I first got that I wore it every single day they also gave me some stickers which I dropped but these are so cute 
cute. They say their brand name like Alter Ego and they just have little cute characters and rainbows. But this is what the packaging looks like and let me just take a moment to like tell you guys how nice this packaging is for an indie brand. Like it's very weighted and their boxes have this really like nice soft matte finish. Um, but let's go ahead and open this. I haven't even looked at it, so hopefully it's okay, just because I got it in the mail, obviously. But for some reason, this packaging reminds me of Ariana Grande. <laughs> and so the actual product looks just like the box. Oh my gosh, everything's okay. Yay, I'm so excited. And so I'm not going to swatch anything just because I want to take a picture before I use it. But this is what it looks like right here. It's so pretty. I kind of want to hold it up to the Huda Beauty one to see how similar they are. Let me grab that. Don't pay attention to how dirty my Huda Beauty one is just because, like I said, I use the crap out of this palette. But this is the Huda Beauty and this is the Alter Ego and they look pretty dang similar. Don't want to get eyeshadow all over my white shirt. Oh crap. And so yeah guys, um, Alter Ego did give me a discount code for you guys. It's just Brittany10 and I will have it linked down below if you want to use it. I don't earn anything off of it. It's just for you guys to save some money. But yeah, that's going to be everything for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to keep doing these videos for you guys. I also upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that's three times a week. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!